The Imperial Senate, powerless to resist House Solidor's brutal purge, was dissolved. Vain Solidor reigned supreme over the Empire. Though this upheaval shook the Imperial Bastion to its foundation, these developments were, to say the least, welcomed by her military. The authoritarian rule of the judges, in tandem with the impending threat of Rosarian invasion, served to foster camaraderie among its ranks. For our part, the resistance mustered strength in the border skies, making ready for the task ahead. A war to decide the doom of Ivalice would soon be upon us. Flame Tongue and Ogrenex are away. All ships reporting in. They're breaking to begin ship to ship maneuvers against us. All hands, full ahead flank. We shall make ready to repel their attacks. Counter air. Track them as though they were the enemy. Counter air, to your stations. A dispatch from Naldoa Command, Excellency. The Sky Pirate has left Arcadian airspace. He makes for Balfonheim with the Lady Ash and her party. It is good to know the lady still lives. But what of our bid for the stone? Wait the stone or without. Our resistance should prove an even match for the Imperial Army. These weeks of training have honed our edge. I pray it is sharp enough. They choose to supply the resistance, yet raise not a sword in aid. What city could do this? A city of men without countries, pirates of the sea and of the sky. Few are they who would fain lay down their lives for a friend, let alone a king. The Marquis, he is set on war? The time approaches when he must make his position vis-a-vis -vis the Empire clear. When he helped you off the Leviathan, he spited the judges full sore. He cannot sit in idleness and expect to avoid a reckoning. The Marquis shares my distaste for war. Yet, if it comes to it, he will show no quarter. For the time being, we will continue to train the Resistance Army. Enough power on our side, and even Vane may see the appeal of the treaty table. Yet Vane holds the Nethersite. What makes you think he would treat when he holds such power? Power enough to sink the Leviathan. All the more reason for me to support your infiltration of the capital. You said it yourself. The Nethersite is a powerful weapon. I would have you acquire it for me. I have not said I would give you the Midlight Shard. If there is no stone, I would have to look elsewhere for aid. Then you would ally with Rosaria. As I must. Failure is not an option. It's just what Vane wants. He lures the Rosarians and the Resistance to the field, then crushes both with the Nethersite. I think not. Sid has a stone. We grab it and smash it to pieces with the Sword of Kings. Vane will be left holding nary a thing. Time is short. We follow Sid. He's heading towards Giru Vagan. Giru Vagan. It is told of in a song of my people. On the farthest shores of the River of Time, shrouded deep in the roiling mist, the Holy Land sleeps, Giru Vagan. Who knows the paths, the way to its doors? Then you seek the Yoktifor, deep within the jungle of Golmore, 
There is a corner of the Feywood where a mist storm surges and seethes. And that's it. Let's go. Right. <gasps> Not coming, Rithers? Forget your precious nether site already? Sid's words rang hollow to me. I will follow another course. Ah, another lead then, is it? You're well informed. I could well say the same to you, pirate. Hurry it up, or we'll leave without you. Ah, Vaughn. I've had some of my men check on this Feywood. Best ask what they've found. Okay. Thanks for the help, brothers. <laughs> Fly first, ask questions later. Your apprentice is more pirate than you. I don't have an apprentice. Princess Ash, I would hear your heart. If Dr. Sid has spoke the truth, you may well be rewarded with more Nethosite in Viruvagan. Tell me, do you still desire the stone? I desire its power. I want, yet I also fear. I must protect Elmasca. I can't afford to fear anything. Do not forget Nabodis. That is my only counsel for you. Thank you.